boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of the official F-Boy Island podcast. I'm your host, Neil Perez. And I'm your other host, Jared Goldstein. And we are getting into episode six. Mm. Okay, so episode six starts. We're on social media. <laughs> we are detectives. Detective Sarah, P.I. Nakia, and Gumshoe Sarah oh, are on the case. Ladies, um, if you didn't know this already, women... Um, at a very young age, we are trained specifically by the FBI mm. to investigate and comb through all of your social media. So, um, boys, <laughs> watch out <laughs> yes. because they found a lot. They really did. These, I mean, to, to their, I'm, I'm not sure. Is it their credit that they weren't shady, or is that is that stupidity, or is that or is that vulnerability? That's not vulnerability. These F boys will spin it as vulnerability, yeah. as we've already seen. <laughs> <laughs> I was open about a fact. A true thing was revealed about me. Look yeah. at me being vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got called out. The vulnerability. But I mean, they're just they're putting it all out there. They really are. Some of them more than others. Mm -hmm. Garrett. Garrett. Yes. Very. That was no surprise there. But no. it did seem like uh, the ladies were surprised that Josh had such a uh, thirsty man. Presence. I know, which yeah. is shocking. It's like, ladies, if you're putting it out there. Come on. Come you know, on. The, the men. And we should Josh not be, we should has be got for that. it to show. Okay. The underwear shot, the black and white. Yes. Oh, the hand on the chest. Just giving it to us. Mm -hmm. Put it in a magazine because I want to see it blown up <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's 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 a hard copy we're gonna need mm -hmm. that in print we're bringing print back we're bringing print back we're putting it on a coffee table yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're celebrating it <laughs> these f boys are running amok they are they're running all over town not watching what they're posting on their instagram and getting no. cut out because mm -mm -mm. sarah drops an ultimatum on garrett <laughs> She's basically she like, look, does. which I am actually very proud of Sarah for doing. I'm shocked that she could get that that rough with him. Yeah. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> and let him know, ship up or shape out. Yeah. You fucking handle this. You FaceTime this girl, you're packing your shit and you're leaving. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh my God. She really and the thing is like you can really tell, like. They like they are both really invested in each other. Like when mm -hmm. he is getting called out, you could really like you genuinely see his like f boy facade come down. Yeah, and when she is finding out, she, she's she is hurt. genuinely hurt. Like she's these hurt. are hurt feelings. And yeah. when they get together, when they talk, there you could cut that tension with a knife. Oh. And they actually decided to cut it with a FaceTime. Wow. She was like, "We're getting her on the damn horn." <laughs> He FaceTimes all the way from F-Boy Island in the Cayman Islands. Yes. That internet connection was strong. Strong. Clear image, clear picture. And his ex answered uh, answered for certain uh, relationship questions. His ex, Lauren, who has appeared on another dating show, which shall remain nameless. We can't name it, but interesting. Interesting. Inter also interesting in the combing of the Instagram there is a video of Garrett holding Lauren in a in a sexy embrace on the beach in a bikini. <laughs> I mean, that's an engagement where I'm from. Basically. So, but apparently Sarah was happy. That was enough for Sarah. <laughs> it was enough for Sarah. She to was be ready to move on. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> But I mean, everything seems fine. It's like everything didn't seem fine. Nothing seems Lauren fine. Did, Lauren was speaking like she had a gun to her head. Like, yeah. <laughs> like there was someone behind the FaceTime <laughs> being like, don't say a fucking word. <laughs> yeah. And Gar Garrett, he cried. He really. He, he cried. He could really tell this was a moment for him. He was really like pushed to the edge. And I mean, I can only imagine if somebody made me get my ex on, on a, a FaceTime face with my current on television. Wow. <laughs> Honey, the camera on the camera on the camera. If, if any of my Zooms from the last year and a half end up on television, <laughs> babe, I'm going to be crying. I'm, gonna, I'm moving to the Cayman Islands. Ladies, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have a great show for you today. We have... Special guest, Zach Noe Towers. He's joining us again. Back again. Can't get rid of him. Honey, he loves Limbro. And zooming in. Eliminated F boy Chris Gillis. Ooh. Welcome back to the official F boy Island podcast, Zach Noe Towers. I'm back. Oh, we, we can't, can't get, get rid, rid of you. you. Hey. 
You love Limbro, clearly. I do. I want to live there. I want to set up shop at Limbro. We got a himbo in Limbro. Mm -hmm. I want to give um, like massages to everyone in Limbro. Oh, you want to like provide spa treatment? Sure, we'll call it that. Even. To, oh my God, the Lucy, <laughs> that was unsettling. That was yeah. unsettling. Do you like how to vigil? Wait, you don't have a body pillow at home? I do not, because okay. I'm an adult. Do oh. you, Jared? I might, because wow. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Those West Hollywood nights are cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty chilly you when you're Jared Goldstein. <laughs> yeah. Enough about me. <laughs> Dimitri, I'm straight for Lucy. Can we talk about a different Jared? Let's talk about OG Jared because OG Jared <gasps> oh. was really at the center of an F Boy Island storm. It just seems weird that everyone is saying he's not here for the right reasons, he doesn't love me, that he doesn't have great intentions. Right, you guys had a wonderful time. You have love for Nikki. You said you said you're falling in love with Nikia. Yeah, I've told her that before. And you know what her last name is? Uh, no, 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 that's a good question. So how are you falling in love with her? I haven't got a chance to ask her last name. That's What's bullshit. The- but why do I have to know her last name bro, to be you're not be falling in love her? if you don't know anything about this woman. Why is it that you're, you guys are collectively attacking me it's, now? I'm not really it's trying to collectively attack you. I just feel like you're not here for the right reason. Look, now you are acting absolutely ridiculous. First of all, you're going to make me blow up on your dumb ass. Shut up. Shut up. At this point, there's so much going on that I don't even know what to believe. Oh, truly. A hurricane came down on OG Jerry. He really made it all, all about of, him. All of the guys. All of the guys also banded together. That for, was wild. For a moment, I was like, wait, I don't feel like I'm watching F Boy Island anymore. I'm clearly on Lord of the Flies. Like, that's yes. what <laughs> is happening. They just saw. They dropped drop a boulder on him. Yeah. Yeah. Angie Jared was Piggy this episode. Yeah. Oh, Piggy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she reads. Oh, okay. oh, a literary queen. That was a lucky guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, Colin really seemed to lead the charge in calling out OG Jared's behind the scenes conniving and His puppetry. stirring yeah. the pot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think Chris really wanted to come out as the puppet master, but it seemed like in this episode. Jared is OG Jared. Yeah, he was really trying to stir some things up. Yeah, yeah but he was also kind of speaking some truth. Because everyone did agree that OG Jared is kind of a fake ass bitch. Do you believe that OG Jared was sincere when he said, I am falling for you? No, I think it was like, I think it was like a a very desperate tactic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he just like, maybe he's not like good enough at his art of fuckery Mm -hmm. to know that he, that was like too far. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, mm-hmm. I hear you. It was yeah, a high yeah. risk, high reward doing it in the first place. It's a real hit. And it did pay Hillary. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it did so not. Yeah. yeah, he didn't catch. Is that football? How dare you? I don't know. Soccer? How dare her? <laughs> She's always trying to bring it up. Uh, what? Uh, what's next? A hat trick? Is that a thing? Babe, a ponytail flip. Yes. How about that? Very nice. <laughs> no. But it seemed like OG Jared in the end lost. And yeah. to his credit, yeah. he did say less and take the L. By the end of it. He said by a lot. The end, by the he end. Saying, Honey, he'd already said too much. Yeah, oh, he'd already said way, said too, way much. too much. Is this where they had the standing on the tables nose to nose? Didn't they both like stand yes. up on like... Yeah. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. That was scary. That was like, oh, I'm about to see someone get like punched but in the also, face. also, it was hot. It was hot. It was. Nikia yeah, was. probably low-key liked it. I'm sure she Oh, did. she, she for loved sure loved it. <laughs> She's like, battle each other to the death. death. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I want to sit on a throne. <laughs> They're going to say face. Yeah. <laughs> and when she called for help and CJ and Sarah came running, I love that both CJ and Sarah were giggling. They're just so <laughs> glee. They're like, gleefully like, Ooh, the men are fighting. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> pterodactyl. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. This was a pterodactyl moment. But good episode. Yeah. So Very good. good episode. Oh my God. The um, social media. Social media of it all. The IG stalking. A uh, uh, stalking AG. Uh, it, there's nothing better than finding the I- Instagram account of the person you're thinking about talking to, flirting with, hooking up with. Yeah. And you're sending it to all of your friends. Oh, like that's why yes. I'm sending it to all my girlfriends and it's like, we need everyone working on different parts of this. <laughs> we can't all, we're coming together to get a full picture. Just like the red string. CSI, yeah, like, yeah. okay. The big reveal of that is that Garrett is posting pictures with a girl. Yes. And it looks very recent, 
very like cuddly cozy. Oh, honey, seven weeks ago. Crazy. Beach pictures. It was a video. It was like like, holding her by the ass. Like they hired a cinematographer. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Art directed. Yes. And she's gorgeous. But Sarah (laughs) is livid. She's pissed. Yes. Oh, she's furious. Because this is the second time. Yeah, he 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 was honest with her and clearly not the case. No. Mm-hmm. I mean, and even then when he was honest, his explanation just really didn't they, make sense. It was uh, like, I didn't want to hurt her feelings, but like, I also like, we talked about it and it was good. It was all just like, like, we were done. We were, we weren't really a thing. We all thought it was done, but clearly it's not. But, but to Sarah's credit, she gives him a real ultimatum. It's brilliant. Oh yeah. yeah. It was one of my yeah. favorite parts of the episode. She's like, mm-hmm. we're getting her on FaceTime. Yeah. Or you're packing your fucking bags. Yes. Today. Ooh, that I Midwest, mean, that Midwest chill. Dude, that five I two nugget it. became alpha of Fuckboy Island. Mm-hmm. Do you think Tim Cook knew when he invented FaceTime that he would help so many women? <laughs> I think he knew. I think he probably did. I think, I think he, he did. did. That's probably what he had so, up on his board, like his yeah. vision board. He's like, mm-hmm. this app help is women bust <laughs> these dudes. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. He said, imagine having that conversation over Skype. You could never. No. You gotta have it over Couldn't Zoom. Dream of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and the conversation itself, how did we feel about? Because I have oh. I know. Mm. I know. I feel like all of us can spot a bad actor. The line, the girlfriend, the ex, felt like she was kind of uh, reading a script a little bit. She was reading a script that she didn't get ahead of time. (laughs) That was a cold cold read. read. It was a cold read. 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 She was trying to improv, and it wasn't mm, working. mm, Yeah. Yeah, It it, it definitely felt fishy. It was was so stilted. Enough for Sarah. And it also pushed Garrett over the edge. Oh, oh my God. The he cried. He, he, he It was like him trying to process emotion for the first time mm-hmm. in his life. <laughs> Not his, like, his computer. Yeah. yeah just, it just like, broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he then, needs more RAM or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but Sarah does seem like pacified by... The exchange. Does she not? I guess so. I mean, I it's enough Sarah, for her. I feel like Sarah's wants... made up her mind. She... It feels like Sarah just really wants Garrett. She just really wants him. She was mad, of course, because it's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. But I think she, she wanted to kind of make him, him own up yeah. to it a little yeah. bit. But she wants him. She wants to find reasons sure. to keep him. Okay, let's rewind a little bit. Casey is in limbo. Yeah, and he's feeling he's feeling sad. CJ's the one that got away. And Nikki's totally feeling like Doctor Phil. <laughs> she yeah. she's acing it by the way I love her I love like oh, my therapist only, only complaint is I wish there was more Nikki Glaser I know I want more she's so funny mm. I just want I want to see her way in I would love a Nikki bubble the way that she interacts with the F boys she's having so much fun oh. and you can tell they like they they want to spar with her yes. they want to like they want to give Nikki what she when they were having the therapy session yeah, with yeah. Nikki and the guys are cracking up and they can barely even keep a straight face <laughs> yeah. Yeah. talking about their wayward F boy ways yes well yeah, she's yeah. dated all of those guys mm-hmm. in different forms. Yeah. So she knows how to handle them. But yeah, they talk about how um CJ and Casey, it, Casey feels like CJ and him are the same person. Yeah. And like meant to be. And I kind of agree. It's like really romantic, honestly. Yeah. It's the most, it's the most honest chemistry mm-hmm. I've I've seen on the show. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I wish Sarah and Josh had more. I would really root yeah, for them. Yeah, because it's so sad. It they was go, hard to watch them on a canoe date. On a beautiful the beautiful Oh, my gorgeous, God. Gorgeous ocean. Romantic. And, and she's talking she's about Garrett. other guys. It's oh, like, my God. Uh, That's such a friend zone move. I, Josh, so I would up. never do that to you. Josh. Just saying. If you're out there, come sit on our podcast. Uh, yeah. Come yeah. couch. We'll we won't do that to you. <laughs> yeah. New ride. We yeah, that talk is, about other guys. We'll just talk about you. What about... When the guys all confront Chris for being a snitch, <laughs> a little Chris is like the hottest weasel on the show. He's, I mean, he's one of the hottest weasels of all time. He's so say. such you a fuckable weasel. You such a fuckable yes. weasel. You love this weasel, and I'm just like his face is so punchable because he is such a weasel. Oh, and I would love to just yeah, punch that face. That grin, that fist in that, your face, yeah. oh, just that like fist smirk. To me, Chris. He's just the Look, epitome New York, of a real you know? estate agent. Like he's so cheesy. Hey, someone's got to sell those houses. Yeah, he's gotta, he's and who gotta, doesn't love cheese? Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> These are all terrible arguments for Chris. <laughs> terrible well, he's arguments. always glistening. He's like glistening. He's always and it's glistening. Like, it's, it's because he's always up to a scam. Because he's always <laughs> ripping someone off and like running and telling on someone. He's got like a mama's boy smile, you know? That's yeah. why he thinks he can get away with it. It's called, it's a shit eating grin. Just the F-boy vibes, the F-boy radar. It is, it's going off. It's so clear. It's so obvious. Yes. And in regards to this accusation of being a snitch, it really shines light on him being there. Like, that's his role on the show. But th- that's the thing. It's like, I think he really, he tried to get with the ladies. He tried to kind of like, try to get with CJ, yes. tried to get with Sarah. I don't think he really tried for Dakia. We didn't, or if he did, we didn't see it. Right. But once he realized I am outbodied, Right out. Oh my god! He is. He's out body. You fucking hate this man. He's gonna be on our show in like in two minutes, and you're gonna have to you're gonna say this to his I face. Mean, I will tell it to his oh face. My god. He's oh my god! But he's out bodied. He's out charisma. He's out game. Oh he so has he charisma. Realized no. Then he realizes my game plan is to be no. a snake. I'm gonna transform. Okay, well the zoom has been on. Form. <laughs> Into a reptilian being wow. and start drama. Wow. Okay, she's going Q. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of snakes, <laughs> we don't have for Danielle Perez. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have Taylor Swift for you, but we do have Chris coming up. Please welcome F boy Chris Gillis to the pod. <laughs> Hi, Chris. I wish I could bow for you right now, but. You can. Oh, it's okay. you can. It's okay. Okay. I actually like the man spreading that's going on. Yeah. Really giving <laughs> us a lot of energy. <laughs> like this. No, no, no the no, man no. spreading you is great. Spread this, this, is very, spread uh, this is we very want fuck you boy. to be comfortable. Yeah. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. Okay. You're the first ma- guy on here to flex for us. Hard for these pythons. Come on. Like, Ooh. I need that. Are the Come pythons on. named? Do they have names? Not yet. You can name them. I'll go for it. Ooh, <laughs> Zach, Zach and Jared. Jared. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Hell yes. Okay, wait. So oh you're God. from New York, right? Mm-hmm. I am, yeah. All right. I'm from Long Island. So we're actually cousins. We're cousins. What part, what part of New York are you from? Well, I live in Manhattan. So I've been here like about eight years. I'm a commercial real estate broker, and I really moved here for work. I'm originally from Connecticut. Oh, so okay. a, little, a little town called Mystic, Connecticut. Shout out Julia Roberts, Mystic Pizza, you may know. I think it was like 84 it came out. Oh. I'm, from, I'm from there. I don't even think I've ever even seen the movie. But yeah, so Mystic Connecticut, that's our claim to fame. And uh, But I've been dream chasing in New York for yeah almost nine years now. That's cool. Yeah. On- I'm not Tell familiar with Julia Roberts, but yeah, but <laughs> I want to hear more about you. <laughs> so you've been dream chasing. How's that going? Yeah. It's going pretty well. I, I think financially I'm where I want to be. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to get into something a little more fun outside the business and the show came along and that was the perfect opportunity. So here we go, baby. Yeah, we <laughs> would make a, quite a splash. Yeah. Like in the very first episode, talk about guns blazing. You started spreading some dirt around on Colin. Really yeah. made a hard play for uh, stirring the pot. You know, sometimes there's got to be that guy that comes in. I don't want to say the villain, but, you know, that guy that comes in and he shakes things up and, you know, pushes people to the limits and figures out what they're really all about, see if they can hang. So I had to do that. And, you know, these girls, they needed help. Some of these guys, I'm looking around and I'm like, I'm going to get almost no time with these girls unless I like try to fight these kids for time. I'm like, so we got to start cutting the fat. So I was like, (laughs) you're the butcher. He said, watch out. I'm the butcher. You're going to trim that fat. Crowded. I was like, there's too many buyers in this market. We're out of here. <laughs> right. Real estate. Real estate. Okay. <laughs> a businessman. We are learning. I love it. All right, Garrett brought the Bitcoin and 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 now we're getting the the real estate. Couldn't and- open us your shirts on right now. Yeah. Um, but you can that- take it off if you yeah, feel more comfortable that way. Oh my yes. god. Yes. This is why you are good TV, oh, Chris, my- and you know it. Yes. You're good TV. Yes. This is great. Ooh. Oh my god. No notes. I have no, no so- notes. Yeah, for Chris yeah. we should just wrap it up. No. This is it. This is all okay. that we But wanted. here's the truth, though. The men on the island with you, they had a lot of notes for Chris. They Davis. had a lot of feelings. We, we, and we want to know about um, your argument with Josh. Mm-hmm. You called him okay. a, a bitch. bitch. Which feels like the meanest thing you can call a man on Fuckboy Island when we thought it was a peacock. I think I said that he was, like, acting like a bitch or, like, 
what he did, like the way he was a bitch way. So I'm like that. I didn't exactly straight up call him a bitch. I just want to be like bitch completely adjacent <laughs> in the bitch house. I put those words on. But he was he, he was he was acting like a bitch. So I had to call him out. Like that's what we do from New York, you know, Jared. <laughs> hey, don't no no don't 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 no. I'm not, I'm nothing to do with Jared. this. <laughs> Just, well, what does have, that mean to um, act in a bitch way? Well, no. So, like, we knew it was like very, like, uh, like rough out there with only three girls and then all the amount of guys. So we were we were all in agreement that we were going to respect each other's time and let them talk mm. to each other. Mm-hmm. And God was the worst at that. And then he was like being possessive of her, of Sarah. And so I switched from CJ to Sarah. By the way. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. we, we know, noticed. we know, we watched. We yeah, saw, we saw that. So he was being possessed of her and he like wouldn't let her like like three feet out of his sight like the whole night. And it was just like he was like walking around with her on a leash. And so I had to make sure that he was uh, set straight. That's wow. bullshit. We, what like, did it feel I, like to have to sleep in the in the living room for that first overnight trip mm. with Sarah? after the I mean, tub? honestly, I was like, I don't know what this girl's motive is right now. Like, oh. I don't know if she's really into me or she sees me as a good like pawn or what, but. I was suspicious and I didn't think I didn't get the vibe from her that she was going to like first night, you know, be like, Hey, come upstairs. You know what I mean? Like I didn't get that vibe at all. And I, I didn't like, I was like, all right, this is going to be very exploratory because I hadn't really talked to her that, that much before that day, but I had, I killed it in the fucking damn dance competition. And so she invited me over to the hot tub and the sleepover. So I was like, all right, this girl clearly wants to get to know me. And then we were, you know, chilling in the hot tub. It was cool. You thought it's because you killed it in the dance competition she invited you over. Yeah, I think that's, that's a, I really think that she was into me, so. Mm-hmm. And you're right. You do look great in a hot tub. I love that you said that in an interview. You're like, I look great in a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, listen, I only speak the truth. This is the easiest way. Really you're is. a truth teller. <laughs> how, how, what were your feelings about Casey on the island? Uh, Casey was a, a perfect, like, cat toy for CJ to bat around throughout the entire process. Meow. I was like, I see what's going on here. And I was like, she wants to like screw around with a little 22 year old. I was like, she, I know what she actually really wants, but she, uh, she, yeah, they were getting like really getting, getting uh, tight at one point. And so I was like, I don't know if I, I don't want to look like too much of a hater. So I need to like switch up my strategy. But yeah, I think Casey, you know, he, uh, he maybe is a pretty boy, but, you know, he's still a young gun, so yeah. he, he he couldn't run it like us. <laughs> the thing is, I don't think Casey was too worried about seeming like a hater because we had him on the show the other day, and we'd love to play a clip for you of uh, what Casey had to say about Let's go. the one and only Chris Gillis. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You got people coming at Jared Motley, me, and Garrett because we were just doing so much better than everyone else that they were just like, fuck, like, if I'm not going to win with these girls, I'm going to tear these dudes down. Like, I, me and Garrett were never talking shit about the other guys because we were so focused on just focused on our fucking game. And there's a reason we met, you know, we, we did so well is because of, I think that. And you got guys like Chris Gillis, who was only worried about being a fucking mole or a rat. Like, that's just pathetic to me. That's that's exactly the type of dumb, empty response that I would expect from him. Like, it's it's so just like he doesn't even understand like that that, that was his competition and we were coming there to win like regardless so we were going to play how we had to play and he's just being a little baby bitch about it that's all <laughs> there's that word again little baby bitch. <laughs> yeah. she was acting like a baby bitch right that, <laughs> acting that, like but no and he was getting jealous because he like I, maybe CJ actually like felt me a little bit and so I think he was maybe a little bit threatened that's all I am feeling threatened had, right now and these guys, they were getting real, real clicky, Casey specifically, because he was like kind of, he would be quiet and in the background and you would get real clicky. And then these guys, like they were forming their groups and stuff. And I was like, all right, like, and once my like allegiances that I had, like my boy, Maddie Chamberlain, like you should get him on this, by the way, Maddie Chamberlain, like when, once he was gone, like I was like a loner. And then I had, I had saw kids like Casey and I was like, oh, the only reason why he's moving is because he's in with the, like that group and the rest of the guys are all like chasing chasing the other girl, yeah. you know, whatever. You know what I mean? So totally. So you were kind of like the odd man out once your boy Matt was gone. Yeah, no, for sure. Like I was definitely single out. I had certain homeboys like Nando come up to me and he was like, yo, honestly, dog, like they're, they are singling you out like big time. And he's like, and I don't like it. Uh, and I got your back. I just want you to know that I had a couple of guys come out and say that, you know, but. Talk to us about uh, the elimination when you didn't get saved. Like what was going through your head? I was just like, 
oh, well, I got to follow up with this girl because what the fuck? <laughs> this is not where I was supposed to be and how I was supposed to be going out right now. She told me uh, like the night before that, that I was within her top still. And then she ends up cutting me and, and keeping freaking uh, welcome. And so like, it's with these girls that go on to these lame 22 year old kids, but it's, it's just <laughs> ridiculous. And so and for her to say that to me and then welcome and ended up getting eliminated not long after that. And then, so I was like, that was a waste. Like, I don't know what the hell just happened with that, but Hey, you know what? If they don't want me, then I don't want them. And now since the show, are you still an F boy? Uh, yes, actually probably a little bit more. <laughs> yeah! Yes, we love Respond. Yes, tens across the board. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tell us about that. Yeah. How's the F boy journey I'm going? Eighty percent nice. Eighty percent F boy, like twenty percent nice guy, maybe okay. or some ratio in there. So it's a not guy. a serial killer. It's not. A, it depends. <laughs> Hell no. It depends <laughs> on on feeling like where the scale is. Got but it, got it. yeah, but it's how's it going? I mean. Obviously, I've, I've been getting a little bit of uh, exposure for on the social media and stuff and with the show, and so I mean, it, I've never been stronger. Like, it's <laughs> you're posting yeah. thirst traps on Instagram. I mean, yeah, I have to. I have to throw it out there. Like, I I left that that show with like I definitely have like one of the better bodies here, like easy, and that wasn't even that hard. And so I was like, clearly, I got to get my body out there. These kids are posting with their shirt off. You know what I mean? They're eating Cheetos, <laughs> and fucking Coca Colas. So I'm like. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> how many eggs do you eat a day eggs yeah I, egg whites like roughly six okay you stand okay. corrected <laughs> lean protein <laughs> um, i go with uh you know sometimes like a different type of protein for breakfast. like i said like the shake but then i'll do like the bananas and stuff too i have so many supplements like it's 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 actually a lot it's like a lot to get up and like now i get up and i think about it and i'm like Wow, I gotta take that and that, and I gotta remember to take that because you like you want to make sure you get all the nutrients that you're like, shooting for. Mm-hmm. So it's very important to be nutritious. If someone wanted so. to get into being a fuck boy, like, can you give us like three like tips? Yeah, your top f boy advice for aspiring f boys. Aspiring f boys. Yeah, if you want to guide them into the light. Like, I'm asking. To- I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have the look. Yeah, uh, you you gotta have the the body as well, and then you gotta have the mind. Those are the three things that you got to have. Look at the body. The What's mind. the mind into? I didn't yeah. think you guys had minds. <laughs> Five, the mind The mind is the the method to the madness. You got to have it in the mind. You got to have it between the ears. Is there you literature gotta, that you can read to like help yeah. your mind expand to like absorb that? It's, un- it's unread code. It's kind of like NFTs or Bitcoin. It just doesn't really exist. <laughs> well, you, you know, Garrett is the, you know, the Bitcoin legend. Yeah. 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 I hope the Bitcoin goes... <laughs> No. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not kidding. You're not. You're not at all. Hey, if we're moving markets and I know I'm doing something fucking right, that's all I got to say. <laughs> my my favorite part of, of yours on the show is during your interview when you were saying that uh, that he had, that Josh had to put himself to bed because he was a big baby, and then maybe get a maybe get a bottle too, and then you sucked <laughs> on your thumb, and then that was just so I love that. <laughs> You're great. When you said I'm the puppet master, <laughs> I was like, this man understands the assignment. This show needs a villain, and you delivered. I see, I see exactly where where you know where what's needed, and and I don't under deliver. I really don't. So. <laughs> he close he closes deals. That's, he a does. Closer. That's a closer. Please be closing. Oh, he knows his ABCs. Close it. <laughs> well, how, um, how can the fans follow you? Keep up with your your F boy adventures. Yeah, follow me, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Uh, I got a TikTok. I'm going to be working on that some more too. Uh, all at I'm Chris Gillis, and then I got a Facebook page that I'm going to be launching soon too as well. Tight. And then I, maybe once we're a big time a website, all that stuff. I'll keep you updated. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get an email list going and stuff at one point. But yeah, for right now, you can get me all on social. So on social, uh, at I'm Chris Gillis. I am my name, Chris Gillis. No space is nothing. Okay. Tight. All right, Chris, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking your shirt off. Yes. yes. Thank, thank you. Big thanks to that. You're getting me that second nature at this point. Come We're on. Good. Give it up for the Python. Yes, Pythons. the Python. Can we get a yeah. little F-boy, f by from you? F-boy, f by. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
And tune back in to the official F-Boy Island podcast where Danielle Perez and Jared Goldstein and hopefully more Zach Noe Towers Mm -hmm. are spilling all of the tea. We're giving you all of the behind the scenes and we're going to keep up with every episode. So come back, come back, come back. Like and subscribe. F-Boy. F-Boy.